Hey guys, it's Ted with OA X-Ray, and today we're going to be going over a new feature of ours, and that is comparing prices in U.S. stores to prices on Amazon.ca. If you don't know what that is, that's Amazon FBA selling in Canada. So if you are into exporting already to Canada, or if you're interested in a market that is definitely not as saturated as the US market start looking into getting a amazon.ca account first I'm going to show you how to um, change your account over so you can use it so we right clicked on the extension and went to options and then we came up to a page like this here you just click on marketplace and you move down to amazon.ca Whenever you do this, you hit save and you close the page. Now, once the page is closed, you can just go to a regular site. This is target.com or yeah, target. And this is the Lego section. I'm going to run OAX Ray on the Canada mode, Amazon Canada. And we're going to look at the price differences and see how we can account for currency differences also. So whenever we run OAX Ray Canada, this is the um, comparing it to the Canada prices. A few things you're going to notice is some of these items will not have matches. Um, you'll still have the possible matches found, but some of the times on Amazon Canada versus the U.S., you're going to notice that um, there's no matches for some of these, and that's because the UPCs will vary sometimes. So this is doing a UPC match right now, so it's kind of a good thing because you're, you don't want to match up the item and the UPC be slightly different, but the product is the same. So this is, um, so you're not going to see as many results. But as you can see, what does have a match, let's see, there's going to be a lot more positive ROI items. Now, this is going to vary and this is going to change as currencies change and if you are not sure how to do that I'm going to pull up some pages and show you how to account for for the currency differences in different places so we can see it's almost all green out of like 60 items on the page almost all of these have positive ROIs and now we are going to have to account for the currency differences so I'm going to show you that page in a second so finding deals on Amazon Canada is a little bit more complicated so I just want to go over some ways that you can save some time and do some calculations um, this is just I just Google search US to Canada dollar and you just come up with this quick little calculator here really cool really simple and this is just a chart if you go back to 2012 you can see that the US dollar and the Canada dollar at some point the Canadian dollar is worth more than the US dollar and it's kind of gone up and down and up and down and today the US dollar is worth a lot more and you can see it here um, 1.39 for every one of our dollars so um, that's actually bad for exporting and good for importing um, items so soon we're gonna have actually Canadian sites up so at that point it might actually be worth it to import items from Canada to the United States but we're getting up far ahead of ourselves so let's see how we do this calculation um, I'm gonna switch to a calculator page and I'm going to do 1 divided by 1.39 and here we get 79 um, or sorry 71 then I'm gonna subtract 100 oh that's weird okay not subtract 100 so I'm going to add it and then I'm going to subtract 1 and I get 28 approximately and that's the number I'm going to put negative 28 in our discount box so here I'm going to put negative 28 so whenever I put negative 28 you're going to see that the some of these turn to a negative ROI so once we were able to get the new ROI new net profit and our discount of negative um, 28 percent here we start looking for items I'm just gonna put I'm not gonna put a rank threshold I'm just gonna put a ROI threshold of at least 300 percent 
and then I'm going to hit my buys and hopefully that's going to get rid of most of these things. Okay, so right now it looks like we're down to just a few items and that's actually a good thing. Now, the sales rank, do not be fooled by the sales rank. There is about one-tenth of the population in Canada that there are in the U.S. So we're going to have to, what I like to do is just assume one-tenth of the items will sell. So if at rank um, 37,000 in America, there's 10 per day selling, I would guess that there were um, one per day selling at the same rank. So just keep that in mind. So here we have a Star Wars Galactic Heroes set. And I'm going to open it. And I'm going to go to our lowest store, which is Toys R Us. And let's see if they have it in stock. So here we go. We see the item is in stock for $6.99. As we scroll over to Canada, we see that the item is $25.99. Let's make sure we're accounting for any shipping. So it looks like this item is going to be just about 34, just about 35 bucks. So let's just say it's 35. And as we go back, we're going to do the same kind of um, looking to make sure it's exactly the same. So here we go. We see the items, uh, two figurines. I think this is a stock photo. So I'm about 90% sure these items are exactly the same. Looks pretty good. So we scroll here. I don't see any reviews on the item, so I'm not going to worry about that since there's nothing negative. But here's my rank. Looks like it's about 38,000 right now. And I'm going to copy the ASIN so I can put it into the FBA revenue calculator like I always do. And I'm also going to notice here that sometimes the product dimensions are in inches. Sometimes they're in centimeters. And sometimes the shipping weight uh, will vary. So... Um, Sometimes it will be in pounds or ounces, and then other times it will be in grams. So we're going to need to calculate that so that we can get a good inbound shipping and um, those types of uh, information. So I'm going to go next to the FBA revenue calculator, and I'm going to show you how to use that for the Canada site. So one thing that you've probably never even looked at is that you have a country select here on the FBA revenue calculator. So I'm going to change it over to Canada. I'm going to hit go to make sure it changes. And I'm going to input the ASIN that we just saw on that item. And here we go. Now, as we can see, now it recalculates everything and puts everything now into centimeters. And it changes the unit weights to kilograms. So... The item price is 35 bucks. We're going to scroll down here to inbound shipping. Now, to ship items to Amazon Canada from the U.S. is going to be more expensive than shipping it um, to the U.S. to U.S. Uh, for me, it's about five, at least five times the cost. And you can get that a lot lower or you can make that number go up by how many boxes you ship at once. So for me, I found that I want to ship five or more large boxes to Canada at a time. So instead of shipping every day, you might ship once a week or once every month or whatever you can do. So since the item um, inbound shipping, this item is really light. It's only a tenth of a kilogram and the size looks pretty small. It's in centimeters. And um, let's do that calculation pretty quick. So let's see unit weight kilograms. Uh, you can just Google search or just put in your box pounds to kilos. And a little calculator will come up pretty quick. And I just know that it is 0 0.09 kilograms, which is um, 0.19 pounds. Or I can change this over to ounces. And now I will change this to 0 0.09 kilograms. Oh, did I do that? Yeah. So it's a little under four ounces. So if you bought this item and you bought other items, you'd be able to fit a ton of these in a box because it's only four ounces, really light. So it's light, easy. So our inbound shipping cost, I'm going to say it's a buck. I don't need, it's definitely not going to be a dollar. So actually, let me think about this. Um, I'm going to put in a dollar just in case we have to poly bag or do something else to this item. I can't, can't really tell what the prep service is going to be. Now, for the prep service fee, I generally put in my cost. But since we're doing the American dollar to Canadian dollar, the shuffle of money, um, we need to be sure that we are calculating everything correctly. 
So it's costing us. So I'm going to do, I'm going to type in here dollar to Canada dollar, Canadian dollar. So here we can see um, we got 1.99 or 6, 6.99 is what we're paying, but we're paying that in the US dollars. <laughs> Here we can see the calculation that the item is actually costing us 9.73 Canadian dollars. So this might be a little complicated because you know you're switching currencies and you're doing all these things. But this is the reason to get into this because easy stuff everyone does. Everybody goes for the low hanging fruit. No one's willing to climb the tree and get the good stuff that's at the top. And that's where you're coming in and that's why you want to become an expert at selling in Canada or whenever we open up UK or these other sites you want to become an expert in selling in these places because your average person in your average group who's asking the question how do I open an Amazon account that person is never going to do all these calculations they're never going to send items to Canada never contact a shipping company they're not going to do these things so for you to be in the situation where you have the opportunity to do this and um, make some money doing it and not as many people are going to compete with you is a great opportunity so here we are and we see that the payout on this we're gonna pay 9.73 Canadian um, equivalent dollars and we're gonna make thirteen dollars and seventy cents so I'm gonna copy this and I wanna make sure that um, we're still gonna make money so I'm gonna put in thirteen Canadian dollars um, 1370 that's what we're gonna make and here's how many US dollars you are going to make on this item so you're gonna buy the item for six dollars and ninety nine cents US and you're going to make nine dollars and eighty four cents US dollars if you want to do everything in Canadian dollars you're spending nine point seven three Canadian dollars and you're going to make 13.70 Canadian dollars so on this item you're more than doubling your money the important part for you is to buy very shallow figure out the sales ranks for these items so that you know okay this rank sells this fast this rank sells that fast and you can kind of get the gauge for how fast items sell because if you don't want to send in a hundred of these because you might not be familiar with how Canadian ranks work how fast they sell so dip your feet in the water send off your first few shipments and understand the currency differences understand um, the inbound shipping cost and understand the sales rank a little bit before you start buying high quantities of anything but we're really excited at OAX Ray to be supporting these different sites because every single day as these currencies change it really changes how the exporting and the importing process works because if today we were at a one-to-one -one, um, currency difference between the two countries then you'd be more than doubling your money but since today the Canadian dollar is a little bit weaker you're making a little less and that is just a difference so every single year it might this year it might be really advantageous to sell ca from Canada to the US next year it might be really advantageous to sell US to Canada so learning these different calculations and learning how this works is really gonna change your business and how much you can make and not everybody is willing to make these calculations thank you very much have a great day and make some money we're using OA X-Ray.